So someone just posted a question to me on LinkedIn and I thought it was such a good Salesforce related question that it was worth turning into this short little video. So here we go. The question is, I've got an Excel spreadsheet of account IDs from Salesforce and the list is approximately 700 accounts long. So I have a spreadsheet of 700 account IDs from Salesforce. What is the best way to pull a report or some type of extract from Salesforce showing me all of the contacts for these related accounts that are listed in my Excel spreadsheet? So here's my here's how I would do it. And by the way, my response is only going to be appropriate for you if you are a Salesforce admin. If you're a Salesforce end user, what I'm about to say, you can do it. So that you need to ask your Salesforce admin to do it. Here's, here's what I would do. I would go ahead and I would temporarily create a custom field, a checkbox field on the account object. I would not put it on any page layouts whatsoever. No end user should ever see this custom field. And by the way, this custom field is only going to exist for a total of maybe 15 to 20 minutes. After 15 to 20 minutes, we're going to delete it because it does not belong permanently in Salesforce at all. So we're going to temporarily create a checkbox field on the account object and let's just call it uh, flagged accounts for lack of a better term. We're going to call it flagged accounts and it's a checkbox. Again, does not go on any page layout. We're going to take our Excel spreadsheet. Column A has all of the account IDs, the Salesforce account IDs. Column B, we're going to call it flagged accounts and we're going to put the number one in that entire column for each row. It's going to have just the number one. Then we're going to use either data loader or any other data uploading tool to update records in Salesforce in bulk. So you can absolutely use data loader or data loader.io or any other tool that you choose to use. And you're going to update all of the account IDs that are in your Excel spreadsheet and populate that checkbox using that number one column. That's how you update it via Excel. Once you do that, then you're going to pull a report in Salesforce, so a native Salesforce report using the report type contacts and accounts, and you're going to pull a report and you're going to have one filter on that report. The filter is off of that new custom field that we just created. So you're going to pull in that custom field into the filter and you're going to only want to see those accounts where the filter, where that checkbox, that new custom field is populated. And then you want to display all contacts for those accounts. Now, I'm not entirely sure if you need to see just the first name, last name, first name, last name, email address, phone number, maybe contact ID. Uh, so whatever it is that you need to see, you go ahead and introduce those into the report that we're creating in Salesforce. Then, depending on what you need to do, I'm guessing that the, the purpose of this is probably for campaign purposes. So what I would do is simply create it as a Salesforce report, save that report. Then on the report screen, you should have the button on the top that says add to campaign. So now you're going to add all of the people listed in this report onto whatever specific campaign you need. If you need to go ahead and open another tab and create that uh, campaign first and then add these people into the campaign. Go ahead and do that. If alternatively you need to pull another Excel spreadsheet, an extract of all of those related contacts, you can go ahead and do that. And once you're done, now you can go back and you can delete that custom field that we just created for temporary purposes of simply flagging these accounts. So you can go ahead and delete that field because we need to clean up after our, ourselves. We don't want to create clutter in the Salesforce configuration. That's it for me. If you, have, if you have any particular questions related to Salesforce that you're stumped with, go ahead and hit me up. You can post it on my profile. You can send it to me as a private message. To the extent that I am capable, I will do my best to answer your question, and I'm happy to admit when I have no clue how to answer the question. So go ahead and hit me up. Uh, I'm happy to help in any way that I can. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.